This week we got early access to the Zen Valley region of Sakura. This is the last region on this farm and opens for everyone on the 23rd of May. I will now look at the relic room requirements for this section. Remember that each stage is separate so progress on the previous star does not count for the current one. The Midori Hero chest requires 5 or the 6 relics to unlock. So again we do have an option. Aokas Hokuoko Mask Relic This requires harvesting crops for this region. Bronze Star is mastering 3 crops. Silver Star mastering another 5 crops. And Gold Star mastering another 7 crops. Making a total of 15 crops to master. We'll load the market to show you which count. They are the crops with Zen in brackets next to the name. You can also identify them by the purple logo that is for this region. Hoeito Eko Mask Relic This reek involves leveling up recipes in the Zen Garden House. Bronze Star 15 level ups. Silver another 15 level ups. And Gold another 30 level ups. Makes a total of 60 which can be achieved by leveling on recipe or any combination of the recipes for this region which I will now look at. Open the Zen Garden House. Click on Filter by and choose the Zen Valley option. My farm like many causes shockwave crash in craft building so just gotta wait. So here are your recipe options.
as you can see all have the purple logo next to them. Pink Oiko Mask Relic This relic requires opening treasures on either Zen Valley or Mountain of Strength. Bronze Star 3 Treasures Silver another 6 Treasures And Gold another 9 Treasures Making a total of 18 Treasures to open. That requires bamboo smashers and bamboo machettes. Both of these items are on the free gifts tab. Another note for this relic is that any treasures already opened from Mountain of Strength will count towards this total. A quick look at the two regions that the treasures count towards this relic. Zen Valley and Mountain of Strength. Paparuako Mask Relic. This requires unlocking land tiles. They are the sections of land we get free by meeting tasks or pay for. Just like the Treasures Relic both tiles from Zen Valley and Mountain of Strength count. Bronze Star is 3 tiles. Silver Star is another 4 tiles. To achieve Gold Star you will then need another 7 tiles or expansions from these two regions. It is important to note this will require paying farm cash but do remember it is an option not to do this relic. A quick look at the tiles that count. As this relic is not timed you can also wait for the land expansion sales if you wish to. Goru Duoko Mask Relic Collecting rewards from the three places I will show you. Bronze Star 4 rewards. Silver another 5 rewards. And Gold another 6 rewards. Making a total of 15 rewards. First building is the Judo Dojo but only from levels 11 to 14.
secondly from the Izagi Animal Shelter. The animals from 7 to 12 count for this relic. They unlock as you complete the previous animal. and the pagoda. All five presents from this building count towards this relic. Paparuako mask relic. This is a timed relic. It starts on the May 23rd roughly as soon as general access opens and runs until June the 27th. You need to harvest the dojo 30 times within this time frame. This is the dojo. There is not much allowance for missing a harvest so it worth noting that you can pay 3 farm cash to make it ready if needed. Having completed five of these tasks you will unlock Enclave of Humility and the animals you see within it. This land also has the bonus of double mastery points. Just to recap. You only need to complete five of the six relics. This means it is possible to skip the land tile relic that requires farm cash spending if you do the timed relic instead. Each stage is separate so bronze star progress does not count for silver or gold as well. And look for the purple logo for the recipes and crops that will count. Good luck.